Breaking news, Nigerians. Labour Party finally replies to Nobu over threats of anarchy. Reviews next move. Nigerians, this is getting tough. Welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Labour Party has reacted to a warning by President Bola Tinubu and his legal team to the presidential election petition called PEPC, sitting in Abuja. Politics Nigeria reports that Tinubu, through his counsel, alleged, told the tribunal that nullifying the election that brought him to power on account of the 25% of lawful votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory could lead to anarchy. Reacting in a statement, the Acting National Publicity Secretary of the party, Ubiora, said that the statement was unnecessary and could be construed as interference with the duties and responsibilities of the judiciary. The party said that the law is the law and that if the Constitution has stated that a presidential candidate must call at least 25% in the FCT before he can be declared, then anything short of that cannot redeem it. The Labour Party also recorded a recent statement by the APC-led administration in which it warned that the unnecessary illegal orders used to truncate or breach democracy will no longer be tolerated. The party said it sinks this as a call on the APC's arms to return to the, the treaties and unleash terror on its supporters. The Labour Party said that if there were no adversity, chaos, anarchy, when the APC forced its way into power, Nigeria would stay witness peace when it is eventually evicted from power. He said the Labour Party has taken note of the news making the rounds, purportedly from the leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Metinubu, where he alleged warned the presidential election petition court, PEPC, that inter in interpreting the law as provided in the Constitution on the 25% of lawful votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Abuja, could lead to anarchy, absurdity, chaos, and alteration of the every intention of the legislature. We are worried that the statement, which formed part of his submissions and the contained in his final written address, against the Labour Party's petition pending at the, at the PEPC courts and meant to be in the exclusive custody of the courts was leaked to the media. We still do not know the reason behind this act of desperation, even when the matter is still pending in court. We will, however, be careful not to team the action as subjudice. Having said that, the Labour Party think that the statement was unnecessary since the matter is already before the court and going ahead to pontificate on it could be construed as interference in the duties and the responsibilities of the judiciary. The truth of the matter is that there are no sentiment when it comes to matters of law. The law is the law, and once the law has stipulated the manner and how a matter must be carried out, it must follow that pattern. If the law had stated the requirement that a presidential candidate must meet before he can be declared, then is no, there is no shortcut to it. Therefore, if the Constitution, which is a grand none of the law in Nigeria, had stated clearly 
that you must score at least 25% in FCT before the president can be declared. Anything short of that can not redeem it. It is on the notes, on this note that we request that caution must be applied by the camp of the APC in a subtle but very clear pressure believed is being mounted on the judiciary to see the development from its uh, lens. We insist that no amount of threat from the APC on the judges in the tribunal can change the process and requirements that the law has just put in place. The law has put in place. It must be followed, and that is the position of the Labour Party. We recall very clearly a mid but stem threat during the Democracy Day speech made by the APC-led administration, where it stated emphatically uh, that it has become imperative to state here that the unnecessary illegal orders used to truncate or breach democracy will no longer be tolerated. We note then that the warning appeared threatening threatening enough it sounded more totalitarian but today we are confronted with a sterner approach to whipping the judiciary into a pathway a development if allowed unchallenged we spread doom for the nation we see in that statement a call on the arms of the apc to awaken to their sworn vow to return to the churches just the way they unleashed terror on our supporters during the February election. The same talks that perpetrated absurdity, chaos, and anarchy, and who were used to alter the will of Nigerians, are still very present and willing to do the will of their paymasters. Let me assure the APC and their leaders that if there was no absurdity, if there was no chaos and anarchy when they forced their way into power, Nigeria will still witness peace when they eventually evicted from power. Okay, guys, this is from Labour Party. Well, I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.